Kombucha Kev, and I'm kicking off a four-part video series where I'll explore different sugars to use within your primary fermentation. So most people use like a white cane sugar when they're making their kombucha. That's what I've always done. Um, you know, beyond that, I've always experimented with my secondary fermentation. Um, so the sugars used, you know, from different types of fruit. But I haven't really tried switching up the type of sugar in my primary. So that's what this video is going to do. I have four different types of sugar sources here. Um, first one being maple syrup. Um, it's one I've heard of people using. I've never tried it myself, so uh, I'm going to do a gallon batch on it just to see how it is. I might try and experiment off of that too. So I might do a secondary ferment with bacon just because every time I think of syrup, I think of bacon. So, um, so that'll be the first experiment. Second one is with brown sugar. Um, so like I said before, a lot of people use like a white cane sugar. I'm going to try this dark brown cane sugar. So, you know, it's still cane sugar. It still should work with kombucha, um, but it's a different type and I'm assuming it'll be a different flavor. Um, coming up next is pineapple. So you might have heard of tepeche, which is a, a fermented drink from Mexico. Um, they actually use like the skins of the pineapple and they let that ferment. Um, this will be a little bit similar to that. Uh, I've heard people refer to it as compache, where they use the sugar within the pineapple for that primary fermentation with their kombucha. Um, so I'm going to give that a try. And then lastly, kiwi juice. I got this idea because I've heard of GTS's kombucha, specifically their, their trilogy synergy type kombucha, as using kiwi juice for their primary fermentation. Um, I, I heard it was because they wanted a way to make it less tart. Uh, maybe that's to you know, have lower alcohol levels um, for their commercial brewing, but not really sure why, um, but I want to give it a shot. So I'm going to try to do that trilogy kind of copycat recipe. So I'll be using kiwi within the primary fermentation. So the secondary fermentation, I'll use raspberry, ginger, and lemon try to mimic what they do. Um, it is one of my favorites, so yeah, I'm hoping it'll come out pretty close. So those are the four different experiments I'm going to do um, in this video series, so stay tuned.